It is finally here, the Season 6 Championship. We have whittled it down to just two schools, one of which will walk away with a $1,000 prize for their school's project graduation. In our final match of the season, we have the Rams of Bangor High School. <laughs> Taking on the Rams of Coney High School. That's coming up next on the season finale of High School Quiz Show. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show, Maine. I'm Todd Guttner. Well, this is it, the Season 6 Championship. One of tonight's schools will take home the $1,000 prize for their school's project graduation. We began the season with 16 schools ranging from Fort Kent to South Berwick. Tonight's teams have battled their way past some tough competitors and are both eager to claim the crown. Bangor High School is looking for their second championship. They were the season two champs and just missed their second one last year, losing to Brewer in the finals. Coney High School from Augusta has been with us since season four, but this is their first trip to the finals. They're looking to join Marshwood, Greeley, John Bapst, Brewer, and of course, Bangor on the role of champions. We know everyone is excited to see who's gonna win, so let's get right to it and introduce the teams for the final time. For Bangor, we have Reardon, Cuddy, Lana, and Joey, with alternates Adam and Catherine, and coached by Carl Robbins and Susanna Owen. And for Coney, we have Ted, Saber, Isaac, and Sam, with alternates Claire and B, and coached by Steven Strobel. Now the competition has three rounds, of course, a toss-up round, a category round, and that lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. Okay, Rams, are you ready? Yeah. See, I didn't, play, I didn't play any favoritism there. <laughs> You're both Rams. A Ram will win tonight. A Ram will win tonight. Good luck to both of you. Uh, here we go with the first question. What Disney character made his film debut in 1928, most famously in an animated film called Steamboat Willie? Isaac Coney. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is right. The Straits of Mackinac separate the upper and lower peninsulas of what U.S. state? <phone rings> Sam Coney. Michigan. Michigan, also right. In 2022, England's Queen Elizabeth II celebrated her Platinum Jubilee, marking how many years of her reign? <phone rings> Cuddy Bangor. 70. 70, yes. The saying, leaves of three, leave them be, most commonly refers to what climbing vine that secretes an oil that can cause a skin rash? <phone rings> Isaac Coney. Poison ivy. Poison ivy, yes. Up next is a picture question. The monitor is right there. What is the name of these small fish that use their sense of smell to migrate from the ocean to inland rivers, streams, and ponds to spawn between about May 15th to June 15th each year? <phone rings> Cuddy, Bangor. Salmon. Uh, that's incorrect. Coney, you want to give it a shot? <phone rings> Saber? Shad. Uh, also incorrect. Alewives. Alewives is the answer. All right, here's the next question. Multiplying frequency, or F, by wavelength, or lambda, gives you what property of a wave? <phone rings> Cuddy, Bangor. Uh, amplitude? No. Incorrect. Coney? <phone rings> Go ahead, Saber. Energy? Also incorrect, velocity or speed is the answer. In a series of kids books by Ian Falconer, what's the name of the title pig who forms a band, saves the circus, and helps with Christmas? Joey Bangor. Wilbur? No. Wil Wilbur incorrect. Coney. 
Answer is Olivia. Olivia. We'll move on. In 2014, Michelle J. Howard became the first woman to be promoted to what four-star rank in the U.S. Navy? Go ahead, Ted. Admiral. Admiral is right. Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka are cities on what island that is Japan's most populous island? Reardon, Bangor. Honshu. Honshu, yes. All right, the video question is next, so take a look at the monitor again. This is Governor Janet Mills. Question. The Micmac, who lived in northeastern Maine, played a ball and stick game that is believed to be the origin of what winter sport popular in Canada and in northern United States? Joey, Bangor. Ice hockey. Uh, hockey is right. Nice job. The chanter and the drone are parts of what musical instrument that is the national instrument of Scotland? Isaac Coney. Bagpipe. Yes, bagpipe. In ancient Greek drama, most notably Oedipus Rex, what six-letter word that begins with H is defined as excessive pride or arrogance that leads to a character's downfall? Ted Coney. Hubris. Hubris is right. In India, during March and April of 1930, what man led an act of nonviolent civil disobedience known as the Salt March? Ted again. Gandhi. Gandhi is right. The next question is, in geology, a cataract is which of these things? Volcanic eruption, fossilized plant, or waterfall? Reardon. Waterfall. Waterfall, yes. All right, we have a math question now. First one, you've got your pen and paper. What is the slope of a line with the equation 3y plus 2x equals 6? Cuddy, Bangor. Negative 2 thirds. Uh, impressive, that's correct. All right, we move on to the next question. Hall of Fame coach Don Shula spent 26 seasons and won two Super Bowls with what team in the National Football League's AFC East? Ted Coney. New England Patriots. Incorrect. Bangor, you want to give it a shot? Go ahead, Lana. Giants. Uh, that's incorrect. It's the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins. What website that debunks urban legends got its name from a family that appears in novels by William Faulkner? Snopes is the answer. We'll move on. A 1963 open letter written by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. begins with the words, while confined here, in what city was he confined when he wrote this letter? Ted Coney. Birmingham. Birmingham is right. The Chamorro people are the indigenous people of what U.S. territory that is the largest and southernmost of the Mariana Islands? Reardon Bangor. Guam. Guam, good job. To help reach a resolution to the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its nu nuclear missiles from Cuba, and the U.S. agreed to remove its nuclear missiles from what country? Sam Coney. Turkey. Turkey, yes. The Maine Lemon Law is a consumer protection statute for purchasers of which of these things? Farmland, motor vehicles, or prescription medications? Ted Coney. Motor vehicles. Motor vehicles is right. Everybody Loves Our Town is a book about bands such as Nirvana and Pearl Jam and the history of what musical genre mostly associated with Seattle in the 1980s? Saber Coney. Grunge. Grunge, yes. In 2022, a research team in Antarctica found the remains of the ship Endurance that has been abandoned there in 1915 by what British explorer? Saber Coney. Shackleton. Shackleton, also right. In March 1610, what Italian astronomer described his observation of four satellites surrounding Jupiter? Go ahead, Reardon. Galileo. Yes, that's right. The vengeful Madame Defarge worked the names of her enemies into her knitting in what novel about the French Revolution by Charles Dickens? Saber, Coney. My name is Rob. Uh, incorrect. Bangor, you have a chance. Go ahead, Reardon. The Tale of Two Cities. That is right. <laughs> nice job. You didn't think it was, did you? Uh, nice job. All right, here's the next math problem. Employees earn $12.50 per hour for the first 40 hours they work in a given week. Additional time over 40 hours is paid at time and a half, which would be a rate of how much per hour? Ted Coney. 1875. That's right. Nice job. Next question. The country of South Africa has how many capital cities? Sam Coney. Three. Three is right. 
Here is the next question from a Spanish word meaning to entrust. What is the name for the system created by Spanish colonizers in the 1500s who believed they were entitled to own both the land and the people of the New World? Go ahead, Reardon. Encomienda. That is right. Nice job. Neptune, the mystic, and Mars bringer of war are movements in what orchestral suite by Gustav Holst? Ted Coney. The planets. The planets is right. Of the four fundamental forces in nature, which is the short-range force that holds an atomic nucleus together? Uh, Ted again. Strong nuclear force. Strong. That is the right answer. And that's the end of round one. We have a score of Bangor 90, Coney 160. A great start to this final. We'll meet the teams when we get back. We're back, and as usual, we'll pause the game for a bit of chat with the players. But for the championship final, we'll forgo our silly question and find out a little more about the students that have been with us all season. What grade they're in, plans for the future, anything else like that. Uh, we'll start over here with Bangor. Reardon, uh, what grade are you, first of all? Uh, I'm a junior. You're a junior. Have you started thinking about what's going to happen after high school? Yeah, a bit. I'm probably going go to gonna go to college. Yeah? Uh, probably somewhere around here, maybe the University of Maine. Oh, cool, great, staying local. Good choice, good choice. All right, Cuddy, how about yourself? What year are you? I'm a senior. You're a senior. What's happening next year? Uh, I'm gonna be going to Brown University in the fall. Oh, to, Rhode Island, huh? Yeah, to study um, probably linguistics and computer science. Oh, well, good luck, Cuddy, good luck. Uh, Lana, yourself? I'm a sophomore right now. Okay, so a couple more years of uh, quiz show, yeah. hopefully, right? Hopefully. Do you have any idea what you wanna do after high school? I definitely want to go to college and hopefully get my major in aerospace engineering. Aerospace engineering. Do you want to be an astronaut or do you just want to like help that's, out at NASA or something? That's the dream job. Really? Yeah, astronaut. Go awesome. to Mars. Yeah. Go, go to Mars. The first mm -hmm. woman on Mars. First human on Mars, perhaps. Who knows? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joey, how about yourself? What year are you? Sophomore. Sophomore. Okay, so you guys are going to be teammates for a while. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Pretty good. Oh, wow. great thing. <laughs> Good. Sorry. Pretty Lana. good? You both said it. I thought you were going to say bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what? <laughs> Let's just stop and move to Coney. Uh, Ted, how about yourself? What year are you? I'm a senior. You are. What are you doing next year? Going to go to college uh, and study political science. Where? Not sure yet. I'm still okay. waiting on some acceptance letters. Uh, do you want to stay in cold climate or do you want to get out of here and get somewhere I'd like warm? to stay in New England. New yeah. England. Good yep. choice. Stick around. All right, Saber, yourself? Uh, I've been accepted to University of Montana, and wow. I'm going there for uh, natural resources journalism uh, and mountain studies. Big sky country, right? Big sky country. And mountain studies, that's what you're going yep. to go for. Yeah. Oh, that's, what, what would you do with mountain studies? Well, I want to be a photographer for National Geographic. Oh, cool. Yeah, I okay. want to take photos of climbers and ski mountaineers. Awesome, and you'll be all over the world probably if you get yeah. something like that. Oh, good luck, Saber. Thank you. Uh, Isaac, how about you? I'm a senior. Senior? And ne uh, next year I aspire to join the military. Good for you. Do you, have, yeah. do you know the branch yet? Uh, yeah, Army National Guard. Army National Guard. Awesome. My hat's off to you. I couldn't do it. You're much better human than me. Uh, Sam, you're last in line here for Coney. I'm a senior, and I'm planning on attending college to study history next year. History. Um, how about uh, something in New England or somewhere else? Somewhere in New England, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure your parents will like you sticking around a little longer. All right, uh, the category round is next. We'll be right back with that. Welcome back. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Sure thing, you deserve a medal, halls of fame, lay of the land, crossing the finish line, and lit in Latin. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Each team will alternate control of two categories. With each question, they can choose to answer, they can choose to skip if they don't want to take a chance on a wrong answer, or once per category, they can toss it to the other team and force them to answer the question. Players will have five seconds to confer and decide what to do. Bangor, you're trailing slightly, so you have control of the board. Which category would you like to start with? Uh, we'll take lay of the land, please. Lay of the land for 10. The following are questions about land transactions. What U.S. Secretary of State signed the 1867 agreement to purchase Alaska from Russia? Uh, we'll skip. You're going to skip? Okay, the answer is William H. Seward. Uh, lay of the land for 15. Written in 1854, the Austin Manifesto was a secret agreement for the U.S. to purchase what island from Spain? Spoiler alert, the purchase didn't happen. Mallorca. 
What do you think, Cuddy? Answer, uh, skip, or toss? We'll skip. You want to skip that one as well. It's Cuba. Cuba is the answer. Lay of the land 20. The Torrios-Carter Treaties of 1977 brought an end to U.S. control of what body of water and the land around it? Uh, answer, skip or toss? We'll skip. You want to skip that one too? The answer is the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal. Lay of the land 25. What 1854 land acquisition defined the southern boundaries of Arizona and New Mexico? Uh, the Gadsden Purchase. That's right. Nice job. All right, the lay of the land for 30, last one in the category. What two-word legal term describes the right of a government to take private land for public use with just compensation to the property owner? The 2005 case of Kilo versus City of New London challenged this at the Supreme Court level. Answer, skip, or toss? Uh, toss. You want to toss it? Okay, we're going to go over to Coney. I'll read it one more time. What two-word legal term describes the right of a government to take private land for public use with just compensation to the property owner? The 2005 case of Kilo versus City of New London challenged this at the Supreme Court level. Eminent domain. Eminent domain is correct. Nice job. All right, that's the end of lay of the land. We're now going to Coney for your first category, which will be? Um, sure thing. Sure thing for 10. These are questions about shorelines. The first question, the Canaveral National Seashore is on the Atlantic coast of which U.S. state? Florida. Florida is right. We'll do sure thing for 15. At the Cape Cod National Seashore in Massachusetts, there's a beach named for what Italian physicist who developed the wireless telegraph? You want to skip that? The answer is Marconi, Marconi Beach. Uh, sure thing for 20. Apostle Islands National Lakeshore in Wisconsin is located on the shore of which great lake? Superior. 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 That is right. Sure thing for 25. Seattle is a port on the eastern shore of what o a sound that is a deep water inlet of the Pacific Ocean? Puget Sound. Puget Sound is right. Sure thing for 30. Last one. Big Branch Marsh National Wildlife Refuge is on the North Shore, and New Orleans is on the South Shore of what lake in Louisiana? Toss. Toss. You want to toss. Okay, Bangor, I'm going to read it again for you. Big Branch Marsh National Wildlife Refuge is on the North Shore, and New Orleans is on the South Shore of what lake in Louisiana? Uh, Pontahawk. Incorrect. Close. It's Lake Pontchartrain. Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, that's the end of Sure Thing. Next category goes to Bangor. What do you guys want to do? Uh, you deserve a medal. You deserve a medal. These are questions about medals. And the first question is, the country of Argentina got its name from the Latin name for what metallic element with the chemical symbol AG? Uh, silver. Silver. Nice. You deserve a medal for 15. What metal has the highest melting point of any pure metal is used to make filaments for light bulbs and darts used by professional dart players? Uh, tungsten. Tungsten is right. You deserve a medal for 20. In chemistry, an amalgam, like those once used for dental fillings, is an alloy of a metal such as silver or gold and what toxic liquid metal? Uh, mercury. Mercury, yes. You deserve a metal, 25. Alkali metals like sodium and cesium react strongly with water, creating a metal hydroxide and releasing what gas? Uh, answer, skip or toss, Cuddy. What do you want to do? Uh, skip. You want to skip it? The answer is hydrogen. Hydrogen. You deserve a medal for 30, the last one in the category. What is the name for the process in which industrial steel is coated with a thin layer of zinc to keep it from rusting? Answer, skip or toss again? Uh, toss. You want to toss over to Coney. All right, I'll read the question one more time. 
What is the name for the process in which industrial steel is coated with a thin layer of zinc to keep it from rusting? Galvanization. That is right. Nice job. That's the end of You Deserve a Medal. Coney, your last category will be? Halls of Fame. Halls of Fame. All right, these questions are about Halls of Fame in various fields. The National Aviation Hall of Fame is in Dayton, Ohio, hometown of what pair of brothers who were the first Aviation Hall of Fame inductees? Right, brothers. Right. Right is right. <laughs> Halls of Fame for 15. Colorado Springs is home to a Hall of Fame museum for what sport that includes barrel racing and steer roping events? Rodeo. Rodeo. Rodeo is correct. Halls of Fame for 20. In 2017, the Television Academy Hall of Fame inducted what woman who created, wrote, and produced Grey's Anatomy, the longest running medical drama in TV history? Toss. We're going to toss over to Bangor. I will read it one more time. In 2017, the Television Academy Hall of Fame inducted what woman who created, wrote, and produced Grey's Anatomy, the longest running medical drama in TV history? Uh, Ellen Page. That's incorrect. It's Rhymes. Rhymes is the name. Hall of Fame for 25. Back to Coney. The first group of inductees in the, inter in the Internet Hall of Fame included what English computer scientist who invented the World Wide Web? Skip. Skip. The answer, Tim Berners-Lee. Berners-Lee. Hall of Fame for 30, the last one. The 2022 class of inductees to the Global Business Hall of Fame includes Marcos Galperin, who founded the largest e-commerce platform in Latin America. That company has what name, which is Spanish for free market? Skip. So you'll skip. The answer is Mercado Libre. Mercado Libre. And that's the end of our category round with a score of Bangor 110. Coney pulling away a little bit at 300. Anything can happen, though, in the lightning round. Stick around. We're going to crown the Season 6 champion when we get back. Okay, this is it. We're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round, and the Season 6 championship. Players, you can buzz in at any time. You get 20 points for each correct answer, and incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The other team will not be given a chance to answer the question. The clock is set. Take a deep breath. Good luck, both teams. Here we go. A bicameral legislature has hot Two. Cuddy, Bangu, you got it. Uh, who is the main female character in Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter? Hester. Which continent is smallest by land area? Reardon. Australia. Yes. In the U.S., Flag Day is observed on the 14th day of what? Ted Coney. June. Yes. Vinegar is a combination of water and what acid? Reardon, Bangor. Ascetic. Ascetic. Yep, we'll take it. To astronomers, object M104 is what galaxy that looks like a Mexican hat? Lana. Sombrero. Yes. What's the first name of Kaylee Kuoko's character on the big... Uh, Ted, Coney. Penny. Penny, yes. Chico, Harpo, and Gracho uh, were comedian brothers with what last name? Cuddy, Bangor. Marks. Yes. Chevra is a French cheese made from what milk of what animal? Uh, Ted, Coney. Goat. Yes. The Galapagos Islands are a province of what country? Reardon. Ecuador. Yes. LASIK is a kind of corrective surgery. Go ahead, Joey. I. Yes. A U.S. Social Security number has how many digits? Ten. Uh, Cuddy. Ten. Incorrect. Nine. What mountain range has a Sanskrit name that means abode of snow? Uh, Saber. Himalaya. Yes. The McMurdo Research Station is located on what continent? Uh, someone chimed in. Cuddy, go for it. Antarctica. Antarctica is right. We're going to adjust the score quick. And the finale here, the winning team is Coney with 380 points. They are the season six high school quiz show main champion. Runner up Bangor, you guys had 250 points. You played great. You made your school, your community proud. And you're not going home empty handed either. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back. We're going to present the prizes, so don't go away. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by 
Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you. We're back for the prize presentation. The alternates and coaches have joined their respective teams. We'll begin with our runner-up, Bangor. Cashing a check for $500, our coaches, Coach Robbins. Um, two years in a row, you've been runner-up. Um, not easy to get here, obviously. Uh, what does it take? Well, it's a lot of teamwork. Everybody has their niche, their strengths. And uh, every time we'd meet every week, it was just a lot of fun. Mm. So uh, when we're enjoying ourselves and then we're on the spot here, uh, we've loved it. Yeah, and we've loved having you too. Uh, Coach Owen, um, five of the six seasons of High School Quiz Show Maine you've been a part of. How about season seven? You going to oh. make it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Have you noticed how young our um, contestants are? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, I got a feeling you're going to be here for a few more years. Again, Bangor, congratulations. You get the $500 for your, for your school. I think they'll be really proud of you. Let's uh, head over to Coney and to, uh, you know, you've been here for three seasons. Uh, never made it to a final. Um, uh, Coach Scoville, you made it to the final and you won your first final. How proud are you right now of your guys? Oh, it's just, it's bonkers. These guys are so <laughs> phenomenal. Every single one of them is just great. Uh, it's so much fun working practices with them and everything. So yeah. I, I really, I couldn't be prouder. Well, you seem like a really tight team too. Like you guys love each other a lot. Yeah, I, I think it helps in terms of knowledge flow between the sure. kids. And so it's, yeah, it's huge fun. Well, congratulations, $1,000 for your school's project graduation. We hope you make it back next year, too. You've been a lot of fun throughout the season. So that wraps up season six, folks. Thank you and congratulations to all the teams that took part this year. We'd love for your school to be part of our season seven. Check out our website, mainpublic.org slash quiz show later this summer for information on how to try out for the show. Maybe your school will be crowned the season seven champion. Thank you to our sponsors for helping us celebrate academic achievement in the great state of Maine. And thank you for watching. I'm Todd Guttner. I'll see you next season on High School Quiz Show Maine.